I was muted. I'm sorry. Hi. Um, so I actually received this. Here, it has the date on here. I received this the first of March. So this has been sitting for a second. So if you see dust, no, you do not. But this is the Stellar 16. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is the Stellar. Nice little inscription on the box. Let me see if I can get that lower so you can actually read it. The Stellar Project is a collaborative effort from Clavier, Space, and Yankar. Hi, hi. You're here. Clav and Space are because they're losers. Um, 12 key, per key, underglow RGB, via compatible inside a frosted acrylic case. Made in Austin, Texas. Enjoy. This is the same thing, but it's uh, 68 keys per key in our underglow. Here's our little macro pad, our little doohickey majig. Has Polybius on, on, on the photo. I appreciate the fact that they put like a. I think this is technically a render, but like a, like a just like a really clean render of the product on the on the packaging. I like it. Here is it without the outer box. I really like the magnetic closure packaging, honestly. Like for a budget board, that's that's pretty nice. And then it comes right here. So here is our case. There's our little engraving. Looks really nice quality. This acrylic cut actually like really nice. Ooh, okay. Final product will have slightly larger black bump ons as well as seven millimeter standoffs as opposed to six millimeter. The cutout in the foam for the feet is slightly too small and this has been fixed in the final packaging. Nice! I like how they gave me like the sticker with things that have been changed already for the full run on it. Appreciate that, Spoon. All right, so we are building this with unfilmed lilacs. I wanted to try them unfilmed just to like see. I know there's like a bit of a debate on whether or not they need films or not depending on which camp you're in. So I want to try them without them and see how I liked them. So this is a Stellar 65 with moved lilacs and C3 steps, steps. Lilac linear tactile. I said lilac, didn't I do? These are lavenders, All right? Is it okay not to film them? Yeah, sure. Filming only just like improves push feel. It's not like like required for it to work. Does that make sense? Oh no, it's both stellar wrong. <laughs> Spoos, I'm so sorry. You once said that keyboard ping and resonance are not the same and many conflate the two. Could you tell us the difference between the two? Yeah, so ping is generally speaking, um, when like a, like a plate or something else like twangs, like it makes a pinging sound. Resonance is just that, like it's, it's, it's resonance from the case. It usually happens when there's no way or not enough of a way in, in the bottom and it turns the keyboard into a bell that rings. Some people call that hollowness, but actually hollowness is yet another thing. Hollowness is when you can like literally feel, hear the hollowness uh, of the keyboard. I just realized you have a boba fridge in the background. He looks a little scary right now because my, my light is reflecting off of him. <laughs> he looks like those scary people in anime when they push up their glasses and it goes like pew, but it's on one. It's a, it's a flashy monocle. Oh no, am I literally one key short? Are you fucking kidding me? Our alpacas lube the same as all other JWK? Yep, 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 yep. Just a bit of oil. Yep, yep. I got my luby fingers on my frosted acrylic case and now there's a lube spot and I'm really sad about it. No. And I can't clean it because alcohol fucks with acrylic. Okay, uh, note to you, don't use bag lubed switches or lube your switches while you're putting together your Stellar 65. Satch. Is that a giant boba plush behind me? Oh no, it's way better than a giant boba plush. Although I do, I do really want one of those. This, my friend, it's not plush. Ignore the piece of, it's a fridge. It's a fridge that has boba, fuck yeah. What got you into keyboards? Um, the hot chicks. Do you suggest buying a cheap soldering iron before committing to a more expensive one like Keiko? Dude, the biggest lie that happens in this hobby, and I don't know why it keeps happening, to be honest, is that you need an expensive soldering iron. My Keiko is nice, but the only reason I got it legitimately was because sometimes I solder with components that are temperature sensitive. And so like, I can't go above a certain temperature, it'll fuck with the components. If you're not doing that, which 99.9% .9 of people who build keyboards don't have to worry about that at all, right? As long as you're not doing that, there's no reason for you to buy a $100 soldering iron. Make sure that it has some sort of temperature dial 
it's not terribly shittily reviewed, so like it works. And it has some sort of on off switch. As long as it like ticks all those boxes, any soldering iron will do. All right. Nice. Bad RGB. Hey. Nice. So one of the reasons why I chose the the lavenders is because they are fairly see-through, like to the point where it's not going to affect the RGB owl. I always tell you guys that when I use the Allen wrenches for boards that come with them, that it's to like try them out and like show you that you can use your hardware or whatever. Um, but if I'm being honest, that is part of it. That is part of it. Um, but if I'm being honest, it's also because I'm too lazy to find the right screwdriver. What was your top GMK set that went into group buy in 2020? <clears throat> Noir? <clears throat> Noir? Definitely Noir. <laughs> Did you not intend to solder the board? Did I forget to solder the fucking keyboard? No! I thought I had soldered it when I soldered the backer pad. Thank you, Lord of Sarcasm. No thank you for sitting on that for so long, though. You totally noticed that like 10 minutes ago and just chose not to tell me. <laughs> the world is a hard place and is full of fuckheads, but not everybody's a fuckhead. <laughs> Any tips? I'm building my cellar on Saturday waiting for my parts sold. Don't, uh, be careful with the acrylic. It's acrylic, so it will snap. Uh, be careful. Um, uh, don't over tighten the screws because it will crack. Uh, and don't bag lube your switches or have any lube in the general vicinity or you'll get it on your frosted acrylic. You can't get it off. General question for chat. How many desk pads is too much to stack? Uh, 50, maybe. <laughs> Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Give it a moment or two. Is it not plugged in? It might not be. Ta-ta. Nice. All right, let's go. So this is the Stylus 365 with lubed but not filmed lavenders. If you hear any of this, it's my nails. These aren't quirky. Okie dokie, let's go. This side is readily. My bad, I'll fix that. Goodbye, enjoy, uh, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.